there are plenty of ways to market a car. One is putting them in a the showroom and getting the public to come down and touch them and feel them. Another way is to put them on display somewhere, public display like this, a uh, motor show and getting people to come along and touch them and see them. Or the new way that Alfa are convinced are gonna make us wanna buy this car is by the internet because no longer will you see a car like this advertised squarely on the side of the M4 motorway. No, this car is gonna be advertised online or in magazines clearly steered at those kind of people. Now, what are you actually buying? Well, this car behind me is the new Mito GTA. And Mito might mean mighty in my book because this car's got some pretty impressive numbers. 240 brake horsepower, a top speed of 150 miles an hour and naught to 60 in about six seconds, which directly puts this car in competition with a Mini Cooper, John Cooper Works. Now that car comes in at 3,000 pounds more expensive than this and doesn't come nowhere near in terms of performance. Now, five years ago, if somebody told me you can put 70 brake horsepower through the front wheels of a car and stop it wheel spinning, I would have been amazed. But Ford have just proved that you can put 300 brake horsepower through the front wheels of that RS and it keeps its grip to the tarmac very well. So a car like this, 240 brake horsepower through the front wheels, delivering that down on the tarmac, I can't wait to get it out on the road. So you, the iPod generation, get prepared to pay off around £18,000 to get yourself into a Mito GTA. And for that money, where do I sign up?